OK, here we have a transformations question. I put grade C, although it starts off with a simple reflection, which is more of a grade D question, but describing a transformation is a grade C question. So reflect the shape A in the x-axis. So idea here is if you have a piece of tracing paper, if you're not very good at reflecting, although this should be fairly straightforward without tracing paper, trace around the shape, draw on the line that you're going to reflect it in. The x-axis is this line across the crossways this way and then if we reflect it uh, by flipping it vertically it's going to end up there. Now you can do this just by drawing but uh, if you're not sure then it doesn't hurt to use a piece of tracing paper. Next one we're going to, going to reflect it in the y-axis so um, get your tracing paper and draw your line on the y-axis and this time uh, I'm going to flip it horizontally, left, right, and that gives us that. That position I should really label these. Got to label that one uh, B and that one C. Now describe fully the rotation that maps C on the shape A. So if I bring this uh, next one in here, place it on top of C, and then let's see what we rotate it. We rotate it. 180 degrees, so a half turn. It doesn't actually matter which way you go, you could go from C to A, you could go clockwise 180 degrees, or you could go anti clockwise 180 degrees. And that's why this is only worth two marks because it doesn't matter which way you go. So rotate um, well, you don't need it to say we're 180 degrees, and you've got to put about it's going to be rotating about the origin, zero, zero. It's quite often zero, zero. It's not always, though. Um, a couple of things that uh, I noticed when I was marking this for my students is there's a few students that will misplace this reflection of B in this vertical line and put it one to the left of where it should be and then find it very difficult to rotate back onto A. If you're having difficulty rotating back onto A, then it might be a hint that you've done it in the wrong place. It does not always the case, it could be a tricky one, um, but always check very, very carefully that the distance from the, the line of reflection and the points that you're reflecting are the same on both sides.